welcome to the uh, Makuni carburetor upgrade Dongfang 250R TS. Join the club. All right, so this is the uh, VM26 Makuni Makuni carburetor. This was uh, furnished to us from. Uh, the guys over there at BelmonteBikes.com, uh, one of the larger dealers um, of the uh, DF250 RTS, SRT, CXR, whatever name you prefer. All right, so uh, we told them that we were all about uh, spreading the word on these great products, um, these great bikes, these Dong Fangs, and... Um, we told them we wanted to do some upgrades, you know, we wanted to really push the limits on these and they suggested uh, a really good upgrade which they provide this upgrade free of charge in their bikes is the VM 30 millimeter uh, carburetor. Um, some of the other um, dealers charge you extra for this. Uh, you know, all depends on what dealer's right for you is going to depend on different things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here. It came with a package of goodies, gaskets, springs, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, oh, I've got to take these uh, screws out the bottom here um, to see if it has a gasket, because it has one here. But I want to make sure before I go slapping this on the bike that there is, in fact, a gasket. So, with a number two uh, Phillips, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little hose off here, this drainage hose, and that's, I'm taking that off because it is just getting in the way of showing you guys the, uh, the process here. All right, so nice little locking clip. That was on there pretty good. Okay, so that's your drainage hose. So I'm going to go ahead and take these four bolts off for the uh, the float bowl. So you guys can get a good look uh, on what's in there. And uh, like I said, I want to see if it actually has the gasket or not. I don't want to go ahead and put this on my bike. Go down the road. I'm leaking fuel. She's bogging out. She's just not performing good. And then find out. Oh, you dummy. You should have used the parts that were in the box. Um, and like I said, Belmonte Bikes, they uh, provide an upgraded VM2630 millimeter carburetor automatically with all the bikes they sell. Now, the carburetor that does come with the DF250 RTS, um, it's not adjust. There's, there's no adjustments on it, okay? Um, you got to dremel out, drill out these covers to even be able, like, to even be able to adjust anything on it. And that's where this uh, upgraded carb comes into play. All right, so I have one more left. I'm trying to do this, uh, you know, four screws. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see, you know, the process, what's inside the carb. Now, this is probably going to be a several part video, um, depending on what I can find. Okay, so there we go. There's the the bottom of your float bowl. Nice and clean, very smooth. Here's your floats. Plastic. Okay, and we have a 100 jet in here. Uh, let's see. Yep. We've got that 100 jet in there. There is a gasket in here 
There is a gasket already in here. And it looks like that is the one. I'm looking at this here, trying to see if there's anything you guys might need to know here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you can all see that. I'm going to try. It's a 100 jet. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take a quick flathead. Because everything on the bottom here is flathead. And just quickly give it a little... A little torque. Yes, it's a. Uh, the manufacturer has a good name, which you never know. Might have been made on a Friday afternoon when all the employees were ready to go home. All right, with the gasket. So this one actually came with the gasket in it. I imagine most of them do. Don't take my word for it. Um, be smart, you know. Do it right. Everything inside your engine, your carburetor, your crankcase, everything. You want it as clean as possible. You know, it, it's not a place for dirt, grime, anything of the sorts. I'll go ahead and take this flat head out. Replace it with my number two Phillips. And put it on tightening mode. And I'm going to go ahead and get this baby back on here. I'm holding it like, oh my gosh, I don't want to scratch it. No, I don't, but, <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, it's on a motorcycle. And, uh, so I'd imagine it can take quite a beating, you know. But I'm not into, uh, I'm actually not into driving my power sports or motorcycles. Um, I've got quads, dirt bikes, such and such. I don't, I don't, um, I don't beat the crap out of them. You know, they, they cost me money. And, you know, I want them to last. I, I don't want to go out there and just waste my money so I can beat the crap out of it and, uh, show off to, you know, somebody who really doesn't care if I have a bike or not. You know, like somebody on the trails or... You know, say another biker pulls up to the stoplight and, uh, you know, and he's like revving up his shit. Yeah, go ahead, man. Excuse me for the language. Go ahead, rev it up. You know, I'll rev mine up, you know, sometimes. Just, But I'm, I'm not doing this excessively. I'm not hitting that rev limiter. You know, I, I want it to last. You know, and um, I'm torquing these down all pretty much... Uh, just, you know, just tightened, um, and now once I get them all in, I'll go around and, uh, give them all, you know, a little hand torque down, okay, and you know how you're putting on a tire on your car, and you want to kind of like crisscross, to get it nice and even, and give that a little, little tug, a little tug, Little, oh, see that one was looser, and I think that's why. Little tug. I'll come back to this guy. Little tug. One more, and one more. Now remember, these are made of. Oh, I think this one's made out of zinc or coated in zinc. It's a soft metal. You don't want to go and strip out. You know. <laughs> You don't want to strip out the uh, threads, so just give it a nice, you know, a nice uh, hit there. All right, coming, moving forward inside here. This is your uh, rubber, rubber boot cap. You'll see that when you take your other one off. And inside is your slide spring. Boom, boom, boom. your cap. And inside is the slide. This looks very nice. Okay, now I don't have my... Uh, 
just looking at this here. Oops. I don't have my... I'm not... Obviously, I'm in the kitchen and I'm not on the bike. Um, now, if you look at this here, it's got a couple different settings. It's got one, two, three, four, and five. Um, it is set on one, two, the third from the bottom and the third from the top. So it's got six settings. Uh, and what we're going to do, let me go ahead and put this puppy back on. This was here. And go ahead and slide it. Oops. Slide this back in. That might just be a retainer. Um, I'm not sure. Once I get into... Uh, pulling apart the uh, let's move that over because it's got to go th sliding through. Once I get into um, pulling apart the other one, this this video here, I just wanted to really show you some stuff. Um, now it looks like that might be a separate jet in there. It doesn't have a marking on it. Um, this right here. Couldn't tell you. This, I can tell you, is going to be your idle screw. This is your idle screw. Let me show you the... Uh, sorry, did you see that? There's your idle screw. This is your... You're going to slide. This is your uh, gas intake. Well, you'll slide your... Let me go example. Go ahead and you'll slide your tubing, your gas line over that, and that's how that gets fed. Um, this right here is a uh, manual choke, and I do believe that we will be able to set up the cable choke with that. Alright, so looking at this... Maybe you guys know more than I do about tuning these. I pretty much know how to unbolt and bolt things on and put things together. Um, these two little brass... Look, I guess they're jets or something. Is, would that be... Um, that goes to the engine. So that would be an air jet, I would imagine. You guys let me know. Uh, these two little things in there. Is that air jets? Alright, so that's opened and this is closed all right so your choke has three separate positions see that one two three this is all the way off this is all this is all the way one halfway three okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know put this baby back together all right, and when you're sliding, a lot of people they'll be like trying to force their slide in. Just look at it, okay? You look inside, and you've got your idle screw over here, okay? That's gonna stop it, and th that's for this hole right here. And then this slide right here that keeps it from, you know, that. Um, let me make sure you guys can see. This is your idle screw, okay? Now, if you look in there, I'm trying to do this and look at this, you'll see. I'll try to point to it right here. That's your idle. Now that stops. And that'll stop right here. And if you notice, this this in here, the slide is diagonal. So if you have it pushed in, okay, if you have that pushed in, it's going to keep your slide up. If you have it out, it's going to drop it down. Now, either way, that's the way it's going to decide whether your RPMs are running higher, lower. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here, guys. And, um, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, I am trying to, uh, do a couple, I'm trying to do where I can do a couple different takes of these, you know, this part here, then pulling off the old carb, and then putting back on the new one, um, as long as I can figure out how to edit that and put three different cuts of videos in with one, this will be a one-part uh, Makuni upgrade uh, sponsored by BelmontBikes.com. Um, 
if I can't do that, it'll be a several part series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of upgrades. Uh, I just want to, you know, talk about the website for a moment here. It's a club. It's uh, free to join. Members have perks. We do monthly drawings uh, for free giveaways and prizes once a month. And, you know, things like uh, DF250 RTS Club keychains, t-shirts, you know, all that good accoutrement. And um, every member, as long as you're a member for one month, uh, once you hit your 30-day, uh, your one-month membership, membership is free. Don't get me wrong when I say membership. Like, you got to pay for it. Uh, you will get some decals to put on your bike. Uh, we also, you know, we're very fair about the dealers. Uh, we do honest reviews. Uh, we've actually, you know, talked to a lot of them, um, if not face-to-face -face and had personal dealings. We go through, you know, a, a, a questionnaire, that, a checklist of, you know, what, uh, what kind of things they provide for their customers and, you know, what kind of, you know, just what kind of things your customers want, how are their reviews, and how they respond to us, our questions, and what we want to know. Um, and I started this uh, website slash club because I was about to buy a, a DF250 RTS, and, you know, it comes to you in the mail. You don't know what you're going to get. So I did all the searching I can do because I didn't want to waste my money. And, um, you know, I came, I figured where I wanted to buy. And, you know, there just wasn't enough information. I wish I had more. I wish I was able to sit for hours on end and just Google and look at pictures, watch tons of videos and find out all kinds of information about these bikes. And I wasn't able to. And that's why I started the club here. And we're going to give you as much information as possible. We're going to show you upgrades. We're going to try to push these bikes to their limits and see what we can get done, man. Um, feel free. Uh, stop by the website. You know, create an account. Join up. Get some decals. Get entered in the free prize drawings. And, uh, you know, we, we show you how, you know, the different financing companies. And uh, believe it or not, it's really easy to get financed with no bad or poor credit for these bikes, depending on the uh, financing method. But we've got those listed for you, too. And uh, stay tuned. Maybe you guys, you know, we, we hope to get other members contributing, writing posts, reviews, showing us your pictures. You can check out other people's bikes in the gallery. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut this off for now. And I'm going to get into the next step of it and get ready for that. All right. Uh, this is Big J, admin over at DF250RTS.club. Tell them that the club sent you for the hookup. Hey, Dong Fang Makuni Upgrade. First thing you do is remove your side panels. One, two, three Allen keys. And then up underneath... A number two Phillips and inside under the seat so take your seat off take your two side panels off and uh, what we got here looking at it is we've got our uh, choke cable still attached uh, I've got this in the off position which I then push up a little bit and that puts, let me see if you can see, I'll make sure you guys can see that. Okay. So I've got, this is your choke lever. I've got this in the off position on the handlebar system. So it, with the off, just raise it up a little bit and it gives it slack. And once you have that slack, you want to go ahead and just... I'm trying to make this so you guys can see it. Alright. So once you have the slack. Slack up there. Go ahead and. I'm going to have to try my other hand here. I want you guys to see it really well. Okay. This is what we're pulling out. This little thing like a bicycle. So push it up. Sure wish I could have done this uh, with 
a stand or some type of maybe somebody else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you down for a second here, uh, hoping that you guys can probably still see. Um, so yeah, okay. So you've got the the choke, and if you don't know what the choke is, then just go ahead and uh, move your lever until you see something that moves up. Use the choke toggle up top. See which one, uh, which part starts moving around. Okay. So I've got this rerouted almost. <laughs> There we go. Uh, let me move you closer for another look here. So I was able to reroute. Make sure you get in. This is the regular choke. This was stuck in there. I was able to pull that out. Okay, the next thing we need to do here is uh, we are attached to... Right here is your fuel line. So we're going to have to take that off also. Now, let me switch around to the other side of the bike here for you. Alright, here is the other side. Also, okay folks, we are going to take this old part off. Now it's so much easier. Take one off. Okay, so you gotta compress the spring, which is not as easy as a slinky. Alright, and then push through. Get this past. And it's so close, but yet so far. Yeah, this thing spring. All right. Put the spring and let the spring hold itself. And voila. Okay. So that baby's set. And I am ready to put in the Mackinny. Alright, so. Looking at this, it looks like it's set pretty high. Alright, so this part is old. This part is old. And we're going to go ahead and keep this all together. On the road again. Make sure we slide that in. Yeah, I'm corny. All right, so there's my idle screw. So it's got to be on the sharp side. And that puppy in there. Hello, good neighbor. What are you doing? I'm live right on the corner. You know, people are always pulling over and. Uh, Using their cellular telephones. I'll stop here. I got shit to do. I hope they ain't stopping here. Alright. So I went ahead and put that back together. And since I took that apart, it looks like we don't have any carburetor. And we're going to need one of those. And I will start off and do it exactly the way. that I took it apart right now I'm just uh, 
I'm putting this back on. Remember at the first, that other video, I took the drain hose off. Well, it's time for her to come back on. Alright, so when I when I just pulled this apart, I, I pulled this off and then this. So... Piece goes there, 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 there. Hmm. It's going to be a little difficult to get on, isn't it? Alright, so what I'm going to do in that case, give me a moment here. I'm going to need what technical term is called a spreader. I'm going to have to spread that bitty. You know what? Ooh, here's my number two spreader. Wait, was that? Oh, that's the choke, you silly goose. Alright. Choke. Throttle. <laughs> Look at me. Being all newbie. Alright, so here we go. That looks a lot better. Put you back into your little home position there. All right, so the first thing, the last thing I took off was this. So this is going to be the first thing I put back on. And this is a rubber boot. I suppose it is for weatherproofing. No, that technical jargon. All right, so then we're going to slide cap in. That's going to go. We're going to push that up as far as we can. Push the boot onto it. Ba boom. All right. Next thing we did was the slide. Okay. Now the slide I pulled back it was just a different color. This one's black. Huh? I don't know what the difference is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go put the pin. locking bracket now if you remember I said this was set right in the middle and I am going to drop it in ba boom put the spring down for a moment this little butterfly locker I'm gonna put it right up top here And it looks like looks like once you get it in, if you push it, uh, let me get my technical pushing tool. You're gonna need to just push it, get it locked in nice. Yes, sir. Oop, came back up. Hmm. Go ahead and push this back down once more. And go in. Hmm. Well, this is giving me a, a little bit of a tease here. All right, so go ahead and let's try this again. Pushing it in with my finger this time. And I want to make sure it's seated nicely in there. Okay. So we've got the slide. Now I am going to get the spring. Yeah, couldn't get the spring here. 
and make sure that we've got that now this this I tell you is probably the hardest part is keeping this fucking spring under control Feels pretty good until that happened. Okay. All right. So there's your idle. And this one is going to hold your spring. And fall back in. Push back up. You see she's locked in there. Alright. Get the main unit here. And this was my choke side. So. Now make sure that you line it up correctly. See how you got the idle screw right here. Put your slide in. Voila, put this up, playing with that spring is kind of a pain in the butt, well we'll get it, alright so there we go, give her a little tiddly do, tiddly do's, tiddly don'ts, alright, now, it looks as though I don't have that throttle assembly on this. Alright, so I'm going to have to remove it from here. And that will go right there. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my Number two, where is it? Number two, number two, Phillips. Number two, Phillips. There we go. All right, put you back down. We've got to get this throttle assembly out. Well, he's a little off camera there, huh? Okay. Oh, she wants to give me some gas in the. She wants to leak a little gas now. Well, of course, you gotta understand you're gonna you're gonna smell like gas. You you're dealing with the carburetor, and that puppy. Just let me know that that's what it is is a carburetor, and that it was gonna leak. Okay, pulling this out gently so I don't get a spring in the face. So it doesn't have that. Uh -huh. So what is this thing saying? I don't even need that. some type of fucking restrictor shit. Alright, so if I have this carb here, it's sliding down. Okay. There's my choke. So what the hell is this? I gotta investigate this, guys. Alright, so this... Okay, back again. Trying to figure out what this. All right, that's my throttle. But you can hear my slide. Let's 
just hit the truck. We can see that bitch moving. That is so strange. Why would it have? Why would it have to be double? All right. So anyway, that part does not go back on there. That is so strange. I wonder why. What this whole is that like a governor? It's like a governor or something. Throttle comes and pushes that down. Anyway, alright, we're gonna stop for now. I'm running out of battery. We'll get another one.